recently on the internet, and I read an article that said that men who are married live longer than men who are divorced. You guys heard that? Married men live longer than divorced men. And the reason I'm telling you this is I can bring up the fact that I am divorced, and I'll probably be dead soon. And I want you to know that if I am dead soon, I get a divorce was totally worth it. <laughs> Not <my God. laughs> Our last Christmas with a married couple, my uh, wife gave me the worst gift ever. She gave me love coupons. Do you guys know what love coupons are? Yes. Yeah, little coupon books that couples give each other when they stop giving a shit. <laughs> you ever try to use one of those things? It's impossible, you can't do it. I tried to play the free massage coupon. She said, oh, not now. I don't feel good. I said, but it says offer down at any time. <laughs> now is any time. I don't like my massage, please. And then she got mad at me and said I wasn't being compassionate and sympathetic to how she was feeling. And then while she was yelling at me, I played the automatically winning the argument coupon. <laughs> Yeah, I doubled down on her. <laughs> Apparently that one was mislabeled. It should have been the automatically win any argument. It should have been the automatically increase the size of any argument. Because that is what happened. And then we split up, and, and now I'm stuck with all these coupons. <laughs> so every time I go on a date with the girl now, the first question I always ask is, do you accept competitors' coupons? <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole stack of them that say they're good at any time. <laughs> I think it was just her. I think she was just bad at gifts. At least once we got married. She was fine when we were dating because she had incentive. But once we got married, she didn't care anymore. And I should have known this our first Christmas of the married couple. This was several years ago, but we had just gotten married. And I gave my new wife I said, three things that I wanted. I said I wanted an iPod. The original Star Wars trilogy and Madden football for the Xbox. Now, if you tell that to your girlfriend, there's a good chance that you're gonna get at least two of those three things. But if you tell that to your wife, you're gonna get eight shirts and three pairs of pants. <laughs> I was like, well, what the hell is this? This is what I wanted. She goes, yeah, I know it's not what you wanted, but I just thought I just said you needed. It. Like, no, it's Christmas to give me what I want. You can give me what I need next month because I'll probably still need it. And she gave me her list and her list was nothing but clothes. And I was scared to get her clothes. I was afraid to get the wrong size or the wrong color or the pocket to be in the wrong place. So instead what I did was I got her an iPod, her original fireworks, <laughs> and I got her for the next box. You wanted. But you need this. <laughs> I don't know if I ever get married again right now. I'm just having fun, uh, not being yelled at all the time. <laughs> it's a big, big thing. I also have a lot of time to do comedy now, which is cool. I've done a lot of overseas tours for the troops. And even though I'm not in the military, I've learned a lot about it by doing these tours. The main thing that I learned is that you should never go out drinking with the Marines unless you have a death wish. Because those guys are crazy. I want to drink with some Marines about six weeks ago. I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm still drunk. <laughs> One guy handed me a shot and he said, here, drink this. I said, what is it? It's jet fuel. It will make you see God. Oh, I want to see God. <laughs> Another show, and a young Marine came up to me, and he was just staggering drunk. And as he wobbled over, he said, dude, I am so wasted right now that I can literally piss tequila. Yeah. I can't believe I fell for it. It's a... Uh, um, <laughs> light. <laughs> when I go overseas, I play
nice commercial. And they have those little airplanes that have limited amount of liquid you can bring on board. You guys know that, right? And a lot of people are upset about that. They're like, oh no, I can't bring my shampoo. Or my super beagle. Well, this sucks. And I guess I was upset at first, but then I remember that I have a whole bunch of cans of old paint and used motor oil that I can't get rid of. So I took all that shit to the airport. <laughs> what do you mean I can't bring my hazardous waste on board? Oh, you'll take it sweet. Sweet. And I'll be back next week because I'm due for an oil change. <laughs> Comedy's fine. I uh, had a lot of crappy jobs for a certain comedy. I used to work in collections. Yeah. It's an okay job, but I feel like such a hypocrite because I work in collections and I have really bad credits. <laughs> so I call people and I'm like, yeah, hi, Mr. Johnson. I'm just calling to find out when we're just paying on your account. And he would say, well, I don't know, Rick. When are you gonna pay me? <laughs> Oops, wrong number. <laughs> sometimes you owe people money and you luck out. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it happens. For example, several years ago, I had a Circuit City card. You guys remember those guys? And I completely maxed it out. And then they went out of business. I don't know how to like shit. <laughs> and it seemed like a couple of notices that I ignored, and then they went away. I'm hoping MasterCard goes out of business soon. <laughs> Hopefully by the 18th of next month. No, it's Nathan, it's your chain. Thanks.